I want to see the restrictions lifted and life going back to normal as quickly as possible. And that's at my right here and now. That is my absolute priority. I want to see those restrictions lifted as soon as we can, as quickly as possible. Oh, it's going to be irreversible. There's no, no, no going back. And, and, and that's why we want to be careful during that process. I haven't disabled the camera that you're talking about, but it has been disabled by the department. Can you please hear that for security reasons? I actually, I think for security, it's just common sense. The, I don't think, as a general rule, there should be cameras in the Secretary of State's office. Uh, I've never known that in the other five departments that I've run, and I'm not really sure why there was one here, but uh, I feel there'll be more to this as uh, the whole incident is investigated. I'm here today at St. Thomas's because I wanted to hear from the staff, the doctors and the nurses uh, that are working on the front line uh, about how, uh, the, first of all, how they've been dealing with this uh, pandemic and uh, also about the significant pressures I know that they continue to face. And I want to know, you know what more I can do, what more the government can do. But I also uh, want to thank the NHS and social care staff, not just here at St. Thomas's, but across the country for all the incredible work that they've been doing, certainly throughout this pandemic, but that the work that they continue to do. And I want them to know that they're going to have my full support and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they get everything uh, that they need uh, you know, during uh, this time, especially as we look forward uh, to the dealing with the backlog as well, even when we get past the worst of the pandemic. And, and I've also just visited the vaccination centre here at St. Thomas's, and that's a great example of the work that, uh, that nurses and doctors and volunteers have been doing uh, throughout the country in getting people jabbed. And, and that's one of my most important messages uh, right now, is if you haven't got the jab, please go out there and get it. Uh, we're fortunate, I think we've got the best vaccination program in the world. We've got some four out of five adults that have had one jab and three out of five adults that have had uh, two jabs. And that's some 77 million jabs, I think. And there's still a few more to do. And uh, as we said, we can make sure we're absolutely sure that every single adult uh, will be offered a jab by the 19th of July, which is two weeks before uh, the original plans.